Alright, hey, what is going on everybody? Ali here, back again with another video for Rising of the Shield Hero Episode 10 Review. And as you can see, I am not at home right now, I am somewhere else, so I'm probably going to make this video uh, non- I'm going to try to do a non-edited or whatever, because, I mean, this episode was really um, a setup episode, but also... Um, like, small things, like, in between, like, uh, you got some of the knights who were with him, I think, I think it was the second wave, the first or second wave or something, where, um, that village that he saved, the village of Lute, uh, L-U-T-E, I believe, I believe that's what it's called, um, and it turns out that some of those knights, and I think there was two, like, witches, or something like that, like casters, like mages, uh, were together, and they all entered, um, that guy's, uh, uh, like armored shop where Raftalia and and uh, and Nalfumi get their armor and everything, and they're like, hey, we're very we were very moved by that wave that um, or by by you saving our village, um, and and that wave we were very moved and we would like to accompany you. So is Nalfumi gonna get like a whole bunch of other people now, like in his group? I don't think that's gonna happen, but I think that he's gonna like them like aiding in his ventures of, like, protecting, like, these villages and stuff. I don't think he's, they're necessarily going to be part of his group, but they're going to accompany him, which is very cool, very cool. People are coming around now, and at the beginning of the episode, you know, you got Melty about to ask Naofumi something. I'm pretty sure she was... I don't... I don't mm, you know what? Uh... I don't, I'm not entirely sure what she was going. I think she was gonna ask um, to come with her to, uh, I guess, to the other country. I believe uh, where his, where her mother is, who is mine's, uh, who's mine's mom too, and who is I. I'm not sure if she's the wife of the asshat king that's in this country, but. Raftalia, like, they're getting, like, their upgrades. First of all, Nafumi's like, no, get lost. I can't trust, like, royalty at all. So she just leaves with some of the uh, the knights um, because I guess, like, Melty, um, like, his, uh, his majesty, the king, would like a word with Melty. So Melty uh, has to go and check uh, and, I guess, talk to the king about something. But uh, hold on, my eye. Jeez. But yeah, it kind of sucks because you really know because you really feel that Melty isn't a bad person or anything because uh, like Melty's mother, not, uh, like mine's mother, isn't do, doesn't look like she's bad like at all either. Which I mean, you know, it kind of sucks. But what are you gonna do? Like he he can't do anything about like well he can do anything about it. But like it makes sense that he wouldn't be he wouldn't want to trust any other royals or anything like that, especially Melty, who's who's the daughter. Also, who's the younger daughter? So I mean, it, it makes sense that he didn't want to deal with her. So she, so she leaves. Uh, 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 Philo is is sad about it. She gets mad at at Naofumi being like, "Hey, I, I, why did you do that and stuff?" Like Philo really believed her. And something that I thought was really co was really funny was that Ref Tally is like, tell Naofumi that like. You can't just father her. She's not going to understand, which means... I mean, she looks... Fila looks more like the daughter than what Nafumi said about Raftalia being the daughter. Like, that, it still never made sense the moment that he said that to me. It would have made more sense if he said my little... Like, she's like a sister. If, if he said Raftalia was like a sister, but he never said that. He said daughter, so that already debunked it the moment that he said that. But anyways... Um, that whole thing happened, and he, he was getting some more equipment and stuff for uh, Philo and for Raftalia, and also that they are ready for upgrades, like class upgrades. And the way to do it, he can go, they go to any, any dragon hourglass, right? So they go there, you got the nuns. I knew right off the bat that the, the nuns weren't gonna, like, they were gonna just mess with them. And they're like 15 gold pieces for each person to get an upgrade, like class, a class upgrade, right? And now Fumi, they're all like, huh, he doesn't have it. But then he's just like, boom, here you go. Because Even though he thought it was ridiculous, I thought it was ridiculous. So he gives it to them. 
And then out of nowhere, another nun comes in and be and, and is like, we are forbidden for letting the shield hero get any kind of upgrades and stuff because of his majesty, the king. Like, I... I hope he gets what he deserves eventually, like a a solid punch in the face. I want to see like uh, I don't know if you guys seen One Piece or anything, but I want to see a celestial dragon punch to the face, Luffy, uh, like that Luffy does. I want to see somebody do that. It doesn't have to be exactly Nafumi, but I want to see somebody do that to this guy. I would be, oh, beautiful. I I would I would love it so much. So. He didn't get a class upgrade, so he goes to the slave guy, and then the slave guy told him like he he can't do those services and stuff. And he's look like he he looks like he's blinging out and shit because uh, since Philo uh, like rumors about Philolio like the Philolio queen with Philo and stuff, people are just he's just getting in rolling in dough, rolling in business because and also Reptalia like uh, being called a high quality or a high class like slave for Raftalia is, is pretty crazy because she definitely was not at the beginning. Like, she was on the verge of dying in the beginning, like, in, in that cage. So, that's pretty crazy that uh, it, it became like that. But um, he isn't able to give Naofumi, like, these class upgrades that he wants and stuff. But uh, he tells him about all these countries and everything. My prediction is I, he's going to get class upgrades uh, in that country that Melty and, and Mine's mother is in. He's going to get a class up upgrade over there. But it's, it's going to be too late because the wave is happening very soon by the end of the episode. You see it's happening in like 24 hours or 27 hours or something like that. So, uh, like, he, he can't do it at this moment. So that sucks. But um, th there's, I believe, I think the village is called, or not village, the country is called Shield Shield Raiden or something like that, which is uh, kind, of, kind of a funny name, you know, Shield and... Uh, it kind of sounds like the end is like freedom, I guess, like that or something like that. But um, it was so they're probably going to go there, but they can't do it right now because it would take a month to go by wagon. So, I mean, they, they got to deal with this wave before all this stuff or, or like before they get a class upgrade, which really sucks. Um, but yeah, they got to deal with that. And then something that got, didn't hurt me, but I can really feel for Eftalia, is that Nafumi and uh, Nafumi said, once this wave is over, I'm going back to my own world. And then you saw Reftalia's face like, like, I don't want to leave. I like, I don't want you to leave and stuff. And then there was also another part where like Reftalia at night, when he, when he was bandaging her up because she still has some of the, um, even though he, he didn't use all of the holy water yet or whatever. But, um, cause I mean, you can't just do it at, in one go or else it, it's not going to heal anything. So then he's wrapping up her like bandages and stuff like that. And he's, and she's like, he's, she's like, now Fumi, you, you're going back to your home world after this. And then he looks at her and then he, she's like, now Fumi, if you do, can I go with you? I'm like, because she really doesn't have anybody like in the in this world, so that would make sense that she did that, and Philo doesn't have anybody either, so it would make sense that Philo would go with him too. Um, but she was about to put a little bit of the smooch on him because she's like, "Now Fumi, I, you know, she was gonna say I love you," but then but then Philo interrupts and being like, "Hey, you're being all lovey dovey with Master." Honestly, I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was fun because I mean, number one. I mean, some people, like, for some reason don't like Philo. I don't know why. But, uh, like, number one, you obviously know that it, it's just to, for, like, funny banter and stuff for interruptions with Raftalia. Number two, I mean, Raftalia only has, like, what, two two weeks or a week and a half on Philo? So I don't know why people are so mad about that. Like, saying that, like, she has, like, so much, like, on uh, Philo, like, above Philo and stuff, which isn't really the case, but, and, and third of all, you know, like, seeing her as, like, this little kid that's pretty much, he's, she's more of the daughter 
than Raftali is. Raftali is going to be the love interest, and Aphila is going to be somewhat of like the daughter, you know? So, I mean, I don't understand why people are bothered by her, because who wants a boring, uh, like, straightforward, like, way of getting to romance and stuff? You want some interruptions to be funny or to be sad, maybe, um, but in this case, it's it's hilarious. I think it's funny and hilarious. So that whole thing happens, and then they the, some there's one part where they eat where they go to eat at a restaurant, right? And then uh, the sword the sword hero and the bow and arrow hero guy are sitting down chilling out, being like, hey, like I I had a job that I was supposed to do and stuff, and then it got canceled. Like a bunch of things got canceled and things like that and stuff. And now Fumi, and then he's like, with great power comes great responsibility responsibility or something like that which i thought was funny i thought nafumi was gonna have like a reference to his old world about like not necessarily exactly spider-man but have like a reference to something like that i thought that was gonna happen but he was just laughing because all of those things that he's talking out talking about were the things that nafumi was fixing like like be, yeah like the corpse the dead corpse of the dr the dragon right like like talking back to the sword uh, hero saying like hey because of what you did that village was on the verge of like death because of that corpse that rotted that dragon corpse and stuff so he feels bad and he looks at Reftali's arm being like oh my gosh this is because of me I'm I need to I need to be more careful and everything and then the bow and arrow guy being uh something about like a revolution and stuff like uh de dealing like he decided to join um a rebellion or something like that and or a resistance and overthrow this king and stuff and because of them overthrowing the king it was good for like a minute or two in that village or in that yeah in that village whatever but then it went to complete shit so even though that king wasn't like he was overtaxing people so much it was still better than without the king it was still better without like it was still better with the king actually so like now fumi saying this to him and he's being like because now fumi went to that village and there was barely anybody left because everybody else died like everybody else was was dead because like starvation or or, fa or like all that stuff like it was crazy so he, he's scolding the sword hero and the bow hero and i thought that was hilarious because he's like you gotta think about the aftermath that's what like now fumi's trying to get through them like you got to think about what's going to happen after i do this stuff like he's he he's very thought provoking he knows like things to think about like after things that happen and stuff so um like still the bow hero he still doesn't like trust him or anything which i don't know what he's talking about and then you got the sword hero being like there's no reason for him to lie if like that actually happens stuff because he saw Raftali's arm being like poisoned pretty much like uh burns on her arm so he knows he knows what's up so like he leaves and stuff there's 24 hours left until the uh catastrophe happens all hell uh, oh shit, excuse me but all hell is going to break loose and then we see a little bit of Excuse me. We see a little bit of Mine's uh, mother being like, oh, the catastrophe is going to happen and it's going to be wild. And then at, right at the end, we see like the thunder and lightning coming down. And then it's all that weird looking uh, sky image that we saw from the second wave that we that we witnessed. So that was crazy. And also, actually, I didn't even like for, I forgot to mention this, but um, when uh, those the, those uh, nights and those mages that said that they want to uh, be part of his group. Like, now Fumi said, scrape up 150 silver pieces and I'll give you this and then I'll trust you. I'm like, because you know now Fumi always has some kind of like alternative like motives and stuff like that. So when they collected all of it, he said use that money to buy really good armor, to buy better armor and stuff. And he just gave them the, uh, the necklace that he was going to ask for like the 150 silver. So like that's pretty awesome. He 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 always likes to do that stuff with people being like getting them angry at him, but then he has another motive of like hey, you know, better yourself and stuff, which I, I it's really cool. I, I it's pretty cool lessons that he gives people. Um but yeah, like at the end we see this girl with like some kind of fan. 
Don't know who she is, but you know it's going to be crazy, people. Episode 10, we're almost halfway done with this season, and it's still looking awesome. But what do you guys think about this episode? Leave down in the comments your thoughts about the episode, your thoughts about what I said, and, and like, mm, like this video if you did. Like this video if you like me, like this video if you like the episode and everything, and subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and deep discussion videos, and things like that. So gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sexy, but most important everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, alright? So peace and love, and I will see you all later with the next video. May the force be with you always, and plus, ultra.